Welcome back everybody, this is Brother Mutant here. We are continuing our journey to complete the Wizard's Apprentice. As you recall last time, we just leveled up and we spent those points. We have, uh, let's see here. Get my spell book out. Leveled up to the point where we burnt off every spell that I could have to get level one and level two spells. There might be one or two spells that I'm missing, but by and large, with the exception of, and it really still irritates me that I can't figure out why this is, the lesser orbs are not scribing into my book. I can't even pick them on level up, and I really don't understand why. Uh, maybe it's because I'm used to those being as part of a, a specific pack, but then why the heck they're available in this game, but it still won't let me scribe them. It makes no sense, so I must have something that's overriding it. But again, that's what these Let's Plays are for. So if you guys are used to having those and you have access to them with yours, chances are it's your mods are compatible with this game, whereas mine are causing some sort of issue. But by and large, we're doing well. There was a cave at the back end of this island. We haven't explored it yet. There is a top spot over here, though. And we just killed the bad guys from this spot, I think. So let's see what we have to offer for some weapons. Long sword. Yeah, free stuff. Arc skin. Yeah, yeah. Greater acid flask and a healer's kit. Nice. Good gravy stuff there. We had a lot of healer's kits. I'm going to put the sword away because I don't want to be overweight at any given point. I may need to flee. Uh, so the copper ring as well. Uh, yeah, they weigh stuff. I should really just drop these because I can't sell them at all. Magic long sword, we should probably sell that. And I have a light crossbow versus a light crossbow, so I guess I have an extra now. Uh -huh. Always like to fully load up on bolts when I'm thinking about it so I don't forget. Of course, here's our recipe list and potions and river slime. We'll put that away too. What the hey? Uh, so, oh, I should probably put that away as well. Not that you can use those things, I'm not particularly worried about that. Um, we have okay hit points, and again, we still have our little magic crystal that's giving us an extra five hit points. Uh, there's some targets for us. Okay, wolf, swamp goblin, seems to be the typical, so let's do a little summon critter. And throw a little magic missile his way, see what a, a level two smackdown on that gives you. There's some damage. Nice work. Come on, pop. Ooh, that almost took him out. And as you see, my attacks are going to be swinging for a lot more likely that I'll hit them because I get a plus five now. Uh, and that all comes from my dexterity and uh, probably for being, uh, what, Lucker Heroes or something like that, for one of my feats. The weapon finesse is a biggie, and that's the one that's adding my dexterity to the swing. So I'm doing really well now for melee combat, for hitting, compared to what I've normally been doing. I mean, I was swinging at a plus one last time, and now I'm swinging at a plus five. Very nice buff. Uh, I'm a level three wizard, which means I'm getting one from uh, Bab, which again, because I'm a level 3 wizard, I won't get another one until I'm level 4 wizard. Uh, 3, of course, coming from my dexterity, must have another one for being small. I don't know. Small stature is probably some kind of buff for it. Okay, let's switch back to the crossbow. I really do want to have a light spell above me, though. I don't like not knowing what's there. Got a camp. Oh, more bad guys. Alright, I want to pre-buff up here for this one. So. And we're back. Now we're going to charge into this battle up here. Casting out the puppy and then do a little ghostly visage on ourselves as well. Just to be a jackhole to these guys. Give the dog a chance to get in a lick or two. I'm switching targets to the Swamp Goblin for my magic missiles because I hit him twice. 
and I'm thinking if I'm lucky, I could hit them. If I'm lucky, I'm thinking I can hit them a lot easier with my this. Swing, swing, swing. And something's wrong with my mirror image. Should have swinging balls around myself. I don't know why I don't. But I do have my concealed, so at least that's working. Or was it mirror image? Oh, I'm not mirror image. What am I talking about? I'm using... Oh, hell, what is that spell? The ghostly visage. That explains it. The explain why I have concealment. I should have magic immunity. Yeah, spell immunity. Damage resistance, of course, is coming from the spell as well as my rose. So I shouldn't be taking spit for damage here for a while. Doesn't last long. It's a minute per caster level. I'm only caster level 3, but 3 minutes in-game is not that long, really. Nice. That was very nice. I don't think I took one lick of damage, did I? Not one point of damage. You gotta love a fight like that, right? Okay, so now we're here. We're looking around. I wanna have my light spell up. So I see stuff. Wizard's robe down there and it kicked off. We got a tree over here. Anything by the tree? Doesn't appear to be. It allows us to look down. But we can't go down there without running around the long way. We have a building. Here's a weapon rack. Longbow and arrows. Sacks. Little piece of potion. Invisibility. Bark skin again. Doing well with those. Haven't used them yet. I really need to. Uh, if I get into a, what appears to be a gnarly fight, which there might be inside this castle, um, I'll probably pop a bark skin on me. Or even a bark skin cat's grace just to make sure I'm uber buffed. I have enough spells to take out one or two little oldy guys. I'm weary of wandering into a bunch of puppy fights again. Hmm. Let's see what we got back here? Anything? Nothing there. Looks like there's stuff inside the castle. Crates. Chest. Looks like we got some booty inside. I like some booty. I'll oh, see what we got over here. Any bad guys? Well, it looks like we just lost our spell. That's okay. Anything over here? It doesn't appear that we got anything. We must have killed everybody outside then. And so that leaves the cave and this building. So let's see if we can get both those done in today's video, shall we? Uh, so I'm going to rest out here. Make sure there's nothing by the tree. I really didn't wander this way. Um, I really didn't uh, plan on getting a lot done on this video today, so getting this island finished would make me extremely happy. I might even go further and do a second video and finish off either the beetles or the find that swamp monster that's behind the castle. I think I need to get the last belt from the, the lost belt from the halfling and I'm wondering if that is the other river wizard item because I already got two and I see in the post that there is uh, for this particular game that there is three different items and I think the other one is the belt and I hear that if you get all three you get a better upgrade than just having one so it's like a package set like I thought um, so let's take a knee do a quick save after buffing up but I'll be right back and we're back and we are going in here now I don't know what to expect so maybe I want to buff up one more time me that extra protection because I really don't know what's in here. Mm. Oh, yeah, let's see bad guys. Let's step outside here. Cast our puppy. Oh, big bad guy. Yeah, so he might be a problem. Chief Bargo, huh? We know about you. Overpowering. Okay. Let's do a little auto hit. Ooh, getting hit. Oh, 
don't get hit. There we go. Probably better for me to take off a foot soldier. Pop one of those two to heal myself up. Yeah, you better. We're not a bus there, sweet pea. This guy's mean. We need to kill all these guys so we're not having three swings per my one, because that's getting annoying. And that's really the plan here. Kill off these two, and then go for him. Now, I would normally use spells at this point, but my weapon is doing about as much damage as my spells, except for possibly Scorching Ray. And I'd like to save that for this son of a bitch. Well, and I'm hitting about as accurately with the weapon as I am with spells at this point, thanks to weapon finesse. So, again, would like to stay with what I've been doing here. Now, if I really wanted to push my attacks through the roof, a portion of Cat's Grace would bump me uh, four more uh, dexterity, which would mean two more accuracy for basically two more. Uh, attack bonuses thanks to weapon finesse so if I'm really having a hard time connecting with this guy and I might be then I could do that now I still have my magic missile wand and he is a big baddie so I might just want to burn it up on him the downside of stuff like that is and then I'm kind of hosed for a little dog out here to help me out him pup yeah, nice bite. Oh, the dog's doing great. There's a little damage for me too. Now I used the potion to cast the dog because I already used my dog's spell earlier. And they tore right through it. Now with a numbers advantage, I'm doing pretty decent. Again, I'm absorbing a lot of the incoming damage from this guy, but it's only because of my spell. Yeah, here goes the dog. Badly wounded. I'm going to use the Cotion of Cat's Grace on myself. Increase my chance to hit him as well as increase my dodge armor class. Two points, so that'll go a long way for making sure he's missing me. So as you see, I'm at 25 for armor class now thanks to my potion use as well as my spell. I'm hitting a lot more accurately now. I'm hitting with a plus 7 instead of a plus 5, which I expected. Yeah, just tear right through this guy. Come on. You're doing great. Oh, that was very nice. Yeah, see, I was happy with that. Got a little gold. Got some decent XP out of that fight. 378 just for that last guy alone. What did he leave me? I'm, I'm overloaded. Fat loot is what he left me. Give me a gem, some rings, glittering necklace. We'll worry of that. Glittering necklace would allow me to glow in the dark when I need my light spells, and I could turn that light spell into an extra attack spell. Well, having said all that, though, yeah, studded leather. So this is, again, one of the reasons why I think that this game, the, the developer or modder for this game, who oh, a short sword plus, man, I wish I could use those. Marshall Rogue, I might keep that one. I might not sell it, because once I get that level of Rogue, that could be pretty good for me. Um, Anyway, I was saying that the, I think the modder of this game went out of their way to make it a little more friendly for things like rogues. Because again, rogues are another one. Or rogues. Bards. Bards are another one that, while arcane casters, hey, as well as lame healers, they have a lot of good gravy thrown on them. And if you get a bard up to a decent level, you can really have some fun with them for some of their songs that they sing. The ability to regenerate your whole team per round outside of combat's phenomenal, saving on potions and kits and everything else, increasing skill chances and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to rebuff up before I go back inside here, but I'll be right back. And I'm back. Now, we've saved, buffed up again with our two spells, our uh, Endure Elements, as well as our Mage Armor. Again, using up my potions, they're all off me now, so I'm only at a 21 for armor class. Still pretty good for a mage wearing nothing but a robe. Uh, got me a sling plus one. That's nice. Can't use it. That's not nice. 
be simple druid or monk. I thought simple meant anybody could use it. Apparently I was mistaken. Crates over here. Firebomb and a big fat stack of money. Anything over here. Nope, nothing in that room that I can see. Alright, well we got everything we could out of here. That firebomb, those are the ones that we could buy. Grenade like use. I'm gonna actually store that so I don't screw up and throw it like a dumb dumb on something like a minor skeleton or something. And make sure there's nothing else there. Yep, yep, good there. Alright, now we're going to the uh, cave. So we're going to go down the hill, back to the cave. I'll meet you guys there. All right, we're back. We're going inside the cave now, in the back end of the island. Don't know what to expect in here, so pause it. Oh, yeah, there's some skeletons. Oh boy, what's the map look like? It's a big winding cave. Could be something here. Big room, perhaps. Uh, end room. I wonder if this is where we're going to find our giant liver. Alright, let's get our spells out. Uh, these guys are reasonably weak. Uh, now, having said that, I don't have a good weapon for them because I'm using a dagger. I should be using something blunt, but I don't have any blunt weapons that I know of. Crossbow's going to do piss. The sling would have been nice, but apparently I'm not allowed to use a sling. Uh, I could up my damage by... What? Obviously, I'll use spells. Uh, I'm not worried about the damage that they do. The dog's gonna come in handy, I'm sure. Right. Casting the puppy. We're gonna do a magic missile because it's a guaranteed hit. Oh, these guys don't have a lot of health at all. Nice. My own puppy. See, the only damage I did there was the one from the electrical. The physical was absorbed because he's a skeleton. He absorbs three points of... Wow, well, it's lucky I have an electrical attack on that thing because I'm not doing piss off or damage to him then. I could acid splash his ass. Maybe that's the way to go because that would be straight up damage. There you go. I don't know if, don't know if cold works on him, but let's find out. No. I absorbed all that. Immune to cold. Alright, well, back to swinging. I do have another spell left. As a matter of fact, let's just single ray that son of a bitch. Oh, 19. Ooh. Okay, well, we're definitely taking an E. I'll be right back and I'll rebuff up a more off camera. Okay, we're back. Now we are going this way. Now we've had some skeletons. We've rebuffed up, saved. Pause for a second so you see where we're at here. We got you know low XP here, fully healed. Got our armor buff up. Elemental protection in case we need it. So far I don't seem to. Uh if someone had posted the beetle mound may have some fire damage. Uh and that could be gnarly. I'm gonna just beam the shit out of this one guy right now. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's a zombie. Okay, so now these ones we should be able to hit uh, with our spells. They're not skeletons. Oh, I hear screaming. Oh, nice shot. That was some nice damage. Uh, I would like to get, uh, just so those of you that are into mods, uh, eventually I'll start doing Let's Plays where I'll have uh, different mods than the ones you're seeing now. Now we'll keep the ones that are nothing more than visual graphic changes. That's the SEF files I should say. So the the armor buff that you see here as well as a bunch of other buffs that I have yet to use will be used. I won't use the ones that have their own spells to the A file because I want to use reruns and cadence pack for some of these other games that I'm planning on doing for Let's Play. And those ones um, a skeleton. So let's do that. 
Let's go mess him up first. Um, and the reason I want to do that is because they have a wonderful ability added to, to rerun spell fixes. That includes the, the ability to crit with spells and to do sneak attack damage with spells if you, you know, were doing any other type of an attack. So, this character who's basically built to be an arcane trickster, which is a rogue slash wizard in this case, slash arcane trickster, you know, she'll be able to do sneak attack damage on those parties. So I like to do those types of let's plays eventually. We're doing minimal damage to him. The dog's supposed to be doing some damage for us, but not doing the best luck for that. Skeleton's kind of missing. He is wounded. And I ain't got much in the way of spells left. I got a magic missile spell. Dog's gone. Skeleton. I do like that they've done their best to implement in the game things like damage reduction for specific types of damage. Like the skeletons shouldn't be shot at with boat. Yep, 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 running away. Run away. Um, they shouldn't take bow damage for piss. I mean, the magical part of it should apply, and that's about it. So, the reason for that being, what are you hitting? It's a skeleton. You're going to zip right through his rib cage, and then you do nothing at that point. So, now I could take this fight. I just wanted to make sure that I had a chance to step away and do some damage to the guy so that when I'm doing melee here with this one I'm not having two guys to fight back to back so we separated them out nicely so kind of a fighting with a retreat there so to speak uh, I don't think I need ghostly visage if I lose my buff I'll probably pop that on me just to make sure I got some more protection uh, but again this is a three hour buff as well as the light spell. So when the light spell goes out, I'll know that my mage armor is going down and then I'll cast this on me if I have no choice. I still have my mirror image over here. And there was another one still. I think there was three bad guys. One was a zombie. Oh, several zombies. It looks like the zombies absorb attack damage too. Not the electrical. Fortunately, they're already badly wounded zombies. So we will take this one out eventually. They don't have a lot of health, but they're not doing that much when they do hit. When I lose that buff, though, boy, they're going to start hitting me a lot more, I think. that I am worried we are going to pop that on me just so I have it and the concealment again works for melee combat if I'm not mistaken 10% conceal yeah so again they could totally miss me 10% uh, of the time because I'm concealed and I think that's how that works so if you have a 50% concealment on you you're only getting hit half the damn time even when they do swing at you and that doesn't even take into account your armor class so really useful having concealed I never really paid attention to it before, but now that I'm seeing that they're on a variety of the spells that I picked anyway, I'm like, oh, what does that do? So, yeah, see here, I lost my buff. I'm getting ready to lose my mage armor. There it goes. So he's going to hit me a lot more. So being able to absorb some damage is going to be helpful. And we're down to the wire here, guy. Me and you, man. Mano e ditto. Duking it out. Ooh, smack to the face. I do like that it lights up when I strike them. 
and I know that's probably coming from my light emitter mod. I love that it does that though. Especially in a dark cave like this. It makes the glowing effect look so much cooler, I think. Alright, so we've killed him off. No one's dropped anything for me. I'm just going to retreat back here where I can see stuff. Making sure I haven't left anything behind. So yeah, here's my ghostly visage. Very nice look to it. Not overpowering. Be right back after I buff on. And we're back. Alright, we've rebuffed up. We've saved. Took a little nap in the cave. Get my spells back. We're doing well. Don't know what else is left in the cave. We got a ways to go still. We managed to get pretty far into the cave system, but I don't think we got that far. I think that's about the edge of it. So we got right to about here, I think, and that's the room that we probably emptied out. Now, again, we're doing okay for XP. We're about halfway to level four. That was probably a room full of the bad guys we dragged out here with us. And oh, that looks like blood. You nasty. Oh, gross, dude. Alright, uh, anything over here? Nothing's lighting up. Pressing our Z key, of course, to make sure that we light up stuff to make it easier on myself. I do like that they added that feature. I hate the try to find it thing. No, no I'll have said that. There's other times where modders have put in if you have a good spot or a good search or whatever it is skill what the hell is that? Pause it. anyway if you have a good spot or search skill then you can find things so like you're walking down the hallway just like you find a random trap you'll find random stuff oh and you see a glint of gold in the corner and poof a you know, little item bag will appear I like those I don't like having to walk two steps from it and going, is this it? Is this it? Is this it? Is this it? I'm about here. Here now? Here now? Here now? And I hate when they'd have to do that. There are a couple that do that. And I know it's queued off of ground tiles, you know, like a big square X on the ground that, you know, you have to step on it just right. I don't like that. But this one's doing a great job. And there's a fountain of blood pouring from the ceiling. Oh, that's nasty. Okay, we got a lot of skeletons here. It makes me a little nervous. We got a ghost here. Ooh, is that the River Wizard? Oh, it is. River Wizard ghost. Oh, I wonder if he wants his crap back. Oh, that sucks. Okay. I don't appear to have anything we can do here other than talking to him, so let's do it. Before you stands a legendary River Wizard, weakened to a shadow of his former strength by his death, and still somehow bound to existence on this plane. Rest, traveler. If you have kindness or no compassion, give me rest. Uh, hmm, and we're not going to go that route because he is the river wizard after all. He may still kick her ass. How can I give you rest? My feet, my hands, my waist. Rest. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Alright, we got a journal update. Let's pause and read that. Sounds like it's the, all the stuff that I just acquired. I got his booties, I got his little gloves, and now I'm trying to get his belt. That to be his waist, right? So, sounds like he wants his stuff back. You have met the river wizard in a cave on the island that bears his name. He has asked you to give him rest. When you asked him how, he simply said, My feet, my hands, my waist. Yeah, crap. Oh, well. Maybe we'll get some good XP for you know, putting him to rest. He did go batshit crazy, so there is the potential that he's going to go nuts on us when he gets his stuff back, but I can't abide a ghost just sitting there tormented for eternity. So we'll go see if we can't find his belt. Now having said all that, if his gear's like the pimp, I might just keep it. I don't know that you can actually. You might have no choice but to give it back to him. Uh, but what the heck. What I'll probably do is I'll probably cheat and I'll save. And then go talk to him. If I get a good reward for it, then I'll say, yeah, that's what I meant to do all along. If not, then yeah, I'll probably just bounce and <laughs> go back to the earlier save and say, screw you, man, you ain't getting squat. Uh, but I'll cut this out unless there's something that uh, gets us out of this here cave. we got to fight. And I'll see you guys. Okay, we're back. We are now 
outside looking for our boat. We've done everything on this island. Uh, we still need to get the river wizard his three items back. His feet, his hands, his waist is what he's clamoring for, which has got to be his gloves, his booties, which I have, and the belt, which I'm missing. So, and that's fine. There's our boat. We've gotten everything from here that I think I can get. Killed everybody that I could possibly kill. The fights were a lot easier than I remember, and it could just be uh, that because we're now level 3 versus the level 2 when we started the fighting on this island, you know, maybe that's all the difference. Well, I do have weapon finesse, I should say that. Now, I should say that because of the weapon finesse, it could be the reason those fights are going a lot better for me. You remember, I got extra hit points, got better spells. You know, I got all kinds of good gravy going on in my tomb now. So, we have... Oh, what is it? Exit to the swamps is our next locale. And we're still looking for not only the belt, but the giant liver. And I'm not sure where that's going to be. Maybe it'll be here on the in the swamp. Maybe that's the swamp monster. Ooh. Okay, let's pause here. Now I'm lost all my buffs in transit with the exception of the long one. So I'm gonna rest and rebuff up. I'll be right back, folks. Mm, we're back. Now uh, we have an auto save, apparently. Alright, which usually means trouble. Let's pause real quick and take a look at our map. So we're here. Got a big grove of trees. It looks like a path. Uh, either the path cuts in the trees or cuts around it, maybe. Probably around it is my guess. Probably a shortcut through the trees, but that means fights in the woods. Mm. So maybe we'll keep to the path. Looks like there might be something here at the end of the path. Is that a house or a cave? And wolf and swamp goblin. Alrighty. So here's our path. We know what we're gonna do. Uh, you know what? So we don't know what we're gonna do. Pop one of those out first. Warm them up. Boom. Oh, a dog for you, son of a bitch. Yeah, you're near death. I like now. Alright. Scorching Ray. Boom. Demon Death. Dabra. The dog's not gonna last much longer. Good dog. Get him again. Oh, oh joy. Well, at least we're not fighting skeletons that are immune to all my attacks again, so that's some good news. Swing it. Nice shot. Alright. Well, let's press our luck a little bit more. We still, I mean, we just fought a big baddie. I mean, fighting these guys are nothing in comparison. Not leaving any treasure behind, right? Following our path. Don't see anything. Trees, but it's kind of hard to see through all that foliage. Oop, I see a cave. It's over here, swamp plant. Aha! More of the same. All right, let's bust out the bow. The Don't make this too easy for me. Boom! Shoot him again. Little buff for myself. Yeah. Absorbed all that damage. I love it. That little buff alone is gonna save my bacon. I just feel it. I mean, if you think about it, even if they don't stack, the robes were giving me a three absorption to any incoming damage. These are giving me five, unless it's a magical attack, and I doubt any of these guys got a magic weapon. So. I feel pretty good about taking them out. Meanwhile, keeping as much of my hit points as possible. So we're becoming a, a little bit of a fighter all on our own. Very proud. Now, this character isn't one for whooping up on the strength, but we do have potions still to use. 
I mean, hell, I could have used a sleep spell and probably, you know, what do you call it, uh, coup de grade these bastards. But you never know, I might need it here in the cave, so. And I probably should look at my spell book after this fight. You know, check the area, make sure everything's dead, but, uh, check my spell book to see if that's the spells I want still. I'm, I'm very happy with my buffs, don't get me wrong, but that elemental buff hasn't really been doing me a whole hell of a lot. And another magic missile spell is another magic missile spell, you know what I mean? Guaranteed damage, two freaking missiles go out, and that's a minimum of four to ten points of damage, I think. You know, per casting of that spell, guaranteed, unless they have, of course, protection. But, for lowly swamp goblins, it's unlikely they've cast a shield spell on themselves. But I'm doing well. Man, that weapon finesse is making these fights go a lot faster, I guarantee it. Tear him up. Get him, boys. Get him. He's wounded. Slit his throat. Ooh, critty. Big old critty in the face. Very nice. Alright. I'm kind of bummed that none of these guys are dropping any loot. 